Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I want to follow along with some more paint correction videos here. One of my last paint correction videos was about talking about how easy it is, if you're a professional detailer, maybe you're just starting out, how easy it is to remove about 80% of the defects, or let me say this again, how easy it is to remove the defects that 80% of the buying public want off their daily drivers. Those can be things like spider webbing, holograms, swirls, they want to restore shine and gloss, and maybe some fine scratches. When you have got yourself on the same page with that customer and you have agreed to remove those defects that bother them the most, get ready to get excited because they're relatively easy to remove and you're also going to look like a superstar because you're going to remove them all. So that's great. The thumbs up for you. You're in the right market. You're going to be able to please them. And if you noticed in that last video, I talked about using a foam pad, right? Attaching it to your DA using a high quality compound and what you're going to do is you're going to work in your two by two area maybe do four or five section passes very little pressure to no pressure need is needed if you're using a high quality pad and a compound to be able to get those defects off the paint that bother about 80 percent of the people out there on their daily driver i want to talk about the microfiber pad versus the foam pad right so what we have is a foam pad. We already know this foam pad is going to be able to remove those defects that bother most people. It's going to do it relatively easily with a high quality compound. The microfiber pad, this is a little bit more aggressive, far more aggressive than the foam pad. This is a microfiber pad, happens to be made by Meguiar's. If it matters to you, I actually like Meguiar's cutting discs. They're better than other ones I've tried. I haven't tried them all, but this just works really well, so I stick with it. What I'm going to do, let's say I've got that agreement with one of my customers, which is going to happen almost on a daily basis. Scott, just get the spider webs off my car. Just get the light swirls off my car. Get the holograms off. Restore shine and gloss and get some fine scratches. That's it. That's all my daily driver needs. Once we have agreed to that, Instead of using the foam pad, I might use a microfiber pad with a good compound. And when I use a microfiber, this is probably the only time I'm going to prime a pad in the real world of auto detailing. I do want every one of these fibers wet with the compound. It will travel ac across the paint a little bit easier. It's not as grabby. So probably this is the one time I would recommend you do prime the pad. So once I have it primed, I'm not going to change my philosophy like I, I'm not changing my philosophy like the foam pad. I'm still going to apply the DA to the paint, little to no pressure, relatively low arm speed, and do that two by two area. I want to remove those defects I've agreed to faster. But even though I'm hanging out in that area for the same amount of time, I'm also doing something else that's very, very important if you do this professionally. We talk about over-delivering to our customers all the time. In order to over-deliver when you're doing paint correction as a professional, this is probably the hardest moment to do it. It's time consuming. Expensive tools, expensive pads, expensive compounds. That's why it's very important to make sure you're on the same page with your customer when it comes to what are the defects we are removing. Once you've reached that agreement, no more, no less. Go in with a microfiber pad versus the foam. Do your same section pass just like you, do, you would do with the foam to remove those five defects that bother most people. The reason why I do this, it's an opportunity to over deliver. My customer is going to come outside, look at the car and go, holy crap, Scott, you're right. Not only did you remove those five defects we've agreed to, the paint looks even better than you said it would. Well, that's not really true. I want to over deliver in the moment, but I don't want it to cost me more money. I don't want to spend more time on the car. This is not a moment you can do that. You've got to honor yourself. Don't throw yourself under the bus to, to over deliver when it comes to paint correction. Don't spend two more hours on the car over delivering because you're not honoring yourself. You're not respecting yourself. Make sure you've agreed to the defects you're removing from the paint. Those five I mentioned are relatively easy to pull off the paint. If you use a microfiber with that same philosophy as you would with the foam pad, 
By the time the customer comes out, he'll go, holy crap, Scott, it looks amazing. What does that translate to? Hey, my customer tells John, he tells Cindy, he tells Laura, I didn't charge him 1,200 hours to do his car. I was more appropriate for his budget for 80% of the buying public, and I'm busy making money hand over fist, and I've actually done I've actually removed some more defects off the paint than the foam pad could do, although I didn't spend any more time doing it as if I was using the foam pad. So that's where the microfiber DA or the microfiber cutting pad comes really becomes really crucial if you want to over deliver as a professional when it comes to paint correction. Now, if you want to use this with a with an aggressive compound, apply pressure and real slow, low arm speeds and do five or six section passes in your two by two area, yes. Now we're talking about trying to get up to perfection, removing 90% of the defects off the paint. That's a different game, a different price range. I kind of I hope that makes sense. When it comes to the microfiber cutting disc, the best way to clean these guys is with compressed air. I don't have compressed air available to me when I'm working mobily, but compressed air is the best. You can still use a pad conditioner brush to kind of clean it every time you go to your new 2x2 two two area. But again, for me, I want a lot of these available to me when I'm working on the car, maybe six or seven of these things, so I'm not spending time cleaning them. I can just move around the car pretty quick, and then I can clean them when I get home. Now, when I get home with these things and I want to clean them, again, because I'm using so many, I'm not going to have a lot of spent compound or a clear coat in there. I might blow it out because I have an air compressor available to me at home. I might spray some all-purpose cleaner on it, just get it moist again, and I will throw them in the washing machine with like a, a laundry detergent that has no dyes, no fragrances, or fabric softener, something like All Clear. Tide also makes one too. I'll wash them in cool or warm water in the gentle cycle and let them get clean that way, I'll take them out of the washer and I'll let them dry on their own. That's how I take care of them. I hope that helps you out guys. How to over deliver as professionals when you've agreed to those five defects that are relatively easy to remove off the paint with a foam pad, this might be a moment. You're not going to hang out in that area longer than you would with the foam, but you're going to get a little bit more defects off the paint. You're going to rise and stand out amongst the competition. I hope that helps you. I love you all.